can make you uncomfortable to not be able to explain what you're doing, but mm -hmm. I feel like it's important to be okay with it. Right. Just saying this to the to the to the potential players on the other side. Right. Because yeah. I feel like uh, that was one of the things that I struggled with. We can talk about that later, but yeah. a lot of the time we don't know. We don't know what it is that we're doing. It just feels good. Right. Very true. We got Flashburn versus Sable. Sable had a big edge guard opportunity there that was dropped, but still getting this combo going. This is winner's round of 1,024. Yeah, so this is round one pool still. 1,024? What does this mean? That means that 100, 1,024 players are in this particular round of pools? Yeah. Wow. Technically, I mean, there's probably some buys. It's probably, sl I think the, the actual entrant count was like slightly below 1,000 or something like that. Okay. So there's, that's actually pretty good. That means there's not that many buys. Yep. Almost filled that bracket out, so. Okay. Ooh. I Falco, Falco, we'll go ahead with you, love. I want to know what you love. This, these just move selections from Flashburn are really nice right now. The, the follow-ups on the platforms were really good there. He opted for almost every Falco would have done a shine after the downer that he stuck him to a platform with, but he did an up tilt. Allowed him to continue a little further, and then he went with an up smash. I just love, I love creative combo selections, uh, move selections and combos in general, because it just makes the game more interesting to watch. If you're watching sure. the same combo over and over, obviously it's not, not quite as dope. Flashburn is definitely a legitimate player. Mm -hmm. Watching the way that he's playing, like even the little bit of, a uh, little Ooh. bit of air control right. after after that one up B weaving in and out. Mm -hmm. This is this is, a, this is a competitor for sure. Flashburn's looking to make something happen. Yeah, the movement looking really nice too. Some shield drops in there. Nice little moonwalk. Moon walks. Yeah. Oh, there's an accidental turn the winner. Mm -hmm. Happens Flashburn to the best of us. shaking his head. <laughs> like, ah. Yeah. See what Sable can do to try to bring this one back. It's, it's is that Marth a weak hit? It, it looked like it. It looked like it should have been a strong hit. Marth went nowhere. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, there it is. Some flashy movement from Flashburn. And I I feel like Flashburn might be uh might be a known player in some other platform fighter. I I don't know why I, I get that vibe, but I feel like the name legit. sounds familiar. If only we knew. If only there was some way to get like information about people right. distributed. Oh. <laughs> that was actually so cool, and I'm very, very happy that Flashburn went for the double. Absolutely. Maybe forward B. Maybe down air into forward B there. Ooh. See, this is the Bobby Scar mind. <laughs> this is the Bobby Scar Bab activated mind. You've seen Bab activated the combo video. Oh yeah. Everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super please sick. check out Bab activated. Combo video on YouTube. Bab is a Falcon player. He's so insane. There are very few views on this video, <laughs> but it is actually so good. Yeah, no, I've seen it. It's, it is a hidden treasure. It's amazing, yeah. Giving you a hidden treasure right now. I feel like nobody knows the value of hidden treasures. Flashbird playing Falcon. Interesting. Oh, okay, because of the FD pick. That makes I sense. I like it. That makes sense. Yeah, I really like when Spacey's have some kind of character in their back pocket for the Marth FD pick. Ooh. Oh. Well, looks like he doesn't really, Flashburn doesn't super duper know the match or whatever, but uh, he's doing stuff that works. Yeah. At this level. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you're if you're better than your opponent, sometimes the, the matchup is irrelevant at that point. I think Marth Falcon especially is a matchup, I've said this a lot of times, but it's like where uh, matchup knowledge is so valuable. It's like at a premium. Like yeah, matchup knowledge yeah, yeah. is always important, but in right. this matchup in particular, like it yeah. can make the whole difference of everything. Yeah. I mean, Sable seems pretty comfortable with it, with that little setup right there. Mm -hmm. We'll see what Flashburn's got for him. Yeah, there's like little DI things where if you're Marth and you do like normal in DI or whatever, you can actually just die uh, right. at like pretty much any percent. And with Falcon, like you need to know how to not get uh, like gimped. Mm -hmm. Do we have a better word for that? I don't think we do. Gimped? I feel like we've got a better word for practically everything, but not gimped. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one. We'll come up with one. There's got to be one. Mission. Oh. I, I like Sable. Yeah, I like the... Ooh! That's bad activated stuff. Yeah, that was some... Looking like none over there for a second. I love anything where you're using a multi-hit move, but only one part of it. Mm -hmm. Like the first hit of Nair stuff with either Marth or Falcon, honestly. Yeah. It's so sick. Super cool. 
Pyro keeping this even. Yep. Flashburn, uh, I guess not banning FD either. He was uh, attempting. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe he wanted the, the Falcon possibility, so that's why he didn't ban FD. Yeah. But it's not working out too well for him right now. He needs a better edge guard, yeah. For sure. Yeah, I like this matchup a lot. I feel like uh, one of the things Falcon can do is just back air Marth, like mm -hmm. a lot of the time. I feel like Marth's forward B, like when you use forward B, it's a pretty big commitment. Oh, it is. Um, and so like if Falcon's, like right yeah, there, right he there, literally could have just yep. back aired and then Marth been it. Yeah. But instead, you know, you have to, now you have to find another hit. You've got to win a neutral again. Right. Yeah, no, I Falcon's definitely back like air is super good for edge guarding yeah. Marth. Ooh, and like Marth is really early. annoying to edge guard otherwise. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like you kind of do want to go out there and just hit him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a bit risky with Falcon, because obviously if, if your jump gets taken or something, you're probably dead. But if you know what you're doing, it's it's definitely worth the risk. Yeah, you just do it you have to do it on reaction, you know? Right, right. So you just jump like uh Flashburn is jumping, but he's just like not looking for the confirm. Right, right. So it's like you just do these little jumps because you're basically tempting that you're going to grab the ledge. Mm -hmm. And then if you see them forward B, you just hit the back on the C stick. Right. And then they die. Good Mars will do it like way lower and they'll make it really hard, but mm -hmm. you know, that's like a whole other level in the meta. Right. Sable looking pretty comfortable now. Trying to bring it to game three, but that quick combo. Mm -hmm. Might not be over yet for Flashburn's Falcon. All right, here we go. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, the jump out from Sable. Yeah, down throw to nothing. Yeah, and there it is. Zipper. Yeah, so Sable pretty convincingly taking that game to the JV2 over Flashburn's Falcon. But I think the Falco's going to come back gotta, out. Got to believe the Falco's coming back out here. What do you think B means? What is this B? Which B? Uh, oh, Flash the tag? tag. Hmm. Could we watched be, B for Vendetta last night. Could, did you really? Me, Toph, and uh, Ben SW. Nice. Um, it one of, could one be... Of my, one of my faves. Could be the Roman numeral, maybe. Could be the Roman numeral. That's. I think that's the coolest possible V here. I agree. The Roman numeral. Yoshi story. We got game three. People used to say stuff about Yoshi story, how it's Marth story. Yeah, it's more like Falco's story these days, honestly. This was a long time ago. Yeah, this is a... ancient history. Yeah, yeah. No, back in the day, this was considered almost a free win for Marth sometimes, just because, I mean, the movement wasn't as good, people weren't as fast, and Marth does cover the platforms insanely well with his sword. Mm -hmm. So, it kind of made sense at the time, but now it's, it's definitely more of a Falco stage. Falco's playground. He's got so much potential with how close the platforms are, how low the ceiling is, kill people off the top with shine sometimes. He can just carry them around the stage with combos. It's an amazing Falco stage for sure. Definitely not a bad Mars stage either, but it's certainly not what we thought it was in uh, 2005. I mean, a lot's changed. Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Flashburn getting a little fancy with it. And this just looks like a completely different character than his Falcon. Completely different player, oh, for even. For sure. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's tough to not like know the, you know, the playbook. Right. I feel like with Falcon, he was more more freestyling, mm -hmm. just trying to like figure out what works. Right. Right. But here, you know, he's got a game plan. Sometimes the offensive game plan, it's like it actually. A good offensive game plan bakes in, like, defense, you know, right, when you've right. got to run away and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like, you know, if you don't know, yeah, if you're kind of just freestyling, yeah. sometimes you're in the danger zone, you don't even know it. Yeah, definitely difficult. I mean, I like the idea to go Falcon on FE sure. again against Marth. But, like, I like when Spacey's had that backup plan for Marth on FE. But, yeah, the scar jump. He did that before, and he gets two back airs out of it, so pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna have that Falcon pick in your back pocket for FD, then you gotta you gotta practice that matchup a little bit. Do you know when I very very first uh, showed anybody the scar jump? It was at a Chudet biweekly at his house. Was I feel uh, like I almost remember that. Yeah, I was sitting. I think you were one of the players. Weren't you? Weren't you it wasn't I it in showed, the hallway. 
Like yeah. right, right uh -huh. inside the door. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I think in the Icon Mufasa one footage of like when I was doing it, like afterwards, there's two players on the screen. I think it was you and Chinesa. Oh, okay, okay. The three of us were sitting in a setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Man. very, very first time. Those were the I days. Anybody. <laughs> you guys were like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, chill and think something I'm doing is cool. <laughs> I remember I first told Mewtwo King about it, and he was like, this is stupid. <laughs> I was like, Jason, you haven't even thought about it. Like, oh, there could be applications, dude. Yeah. He's like, no, this is dumb. Like, I, I know I know how to, uh, you know, what to do. It's not optimal. I was like, ah. Oh, man. But then you guys thought it was cool, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, back then, any small development seemed like it could be meta change. It could just break the whole game. And sometimes it did, but... Sometimes it did. Usually it didn't. Usually like, it did. I remember uh, when... There it is for Flatburn, by the way, 2-1. Nice Falco, honestly. Looking yeah, smooth absolutely. out there. But um, I remember when M2K first started doing the Marth Killer, and yeah. we, I remember distinctly having a conversation with Andon outside of MLG New York 2006 where we were like, the game's over, dude. Yeah. It's It's been solved. I can't... Game's Marth over. can't even recover now. The game's done, dude. Mewtwo King is yeah. destroying this game. <laughs> yeah, there was but. a Mewtwo King. There was a real Mewtwo King fear. There was. It was like, why do you? Okay, most of you were not alive for this, but right. people like me and Chillin, we remember Y2K, uh, yeah, turn of the century. Like people yeah. were freaking out. So basically, yeah. this is it's, an interesting history lesson for the kids. That's true. We used to build software without like everybody would hard code for the date 19 and then xx and right. so you would they would just change the last two digits because nobody was thinking ahead to the 2000s yeah and so there's this mass panic of like the whole society that like oh my god when it turns into 2000 all of our software is going to break yeah, like and it's going to ruin gonna all the fail. nobody's going to have money anymore right so it'd be like an apocalypse but right. it was fine it, was, it turned out that was, it was fine. fine yeah <laughs> but when Mewtwo King came around, That's he was true. roboticizing the whole game and That's figuring true. out like perfect punishes and like nobody could every time he touched you you would die and he would yeah. take people to FD and it was like, Oh my god, people right. are like, Melee sucks now. Yeah. You either need to be a robot or you shouldn't play. Yeah. And so there was a that was a problem. That was a genuine concern in two thousand six, two thousand seven when M two K started getting good. But I I'm really glad it didn't play out that way. I mean, it, Mango was it's the almost cure. the opposite. Mango, Mango, was, the Mango was definitely the cure. That was the the battle of our time between man versus machine. You know, Mango, there's no way you'd call that man a machine. Absolutely, that was. He would confound the programming. That was wild. Yeah. You guys ever seen? You ever seen uh, Star 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 Trek? Any Star Trek? I've seen a little bit of Star so Trek. The, the original series, like, mm. there's a bunch of plot lines where there's a computer that's like being annoying or whatever, <laughs> and Captain Kirk's just like. He just like yells at the computer, and the computer just gets like confused, like, "Oh, there's a contradiction," and then it just blows up. <laughs> Captain Kirk's like, "That was Mango versus Mewtwo King." Pretty much. That's Mango versus Mewtwo King. 